Hey guys, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to learn about what needs to be done during the closing of a mobile home on leased land down here in Florida. After reviewing the details of what happens during a closing, we hope that you have a much better idea of what documents need to be completed, how they need to be completed, and what you can expect when you get to the closing table to buy your new mobile home. To start, I want to stress to all you folks who are watching that we at the Mobile Home Dealer are licensed mobile home brokers with the state of Florida. What that means is that we will be doing certain things that other non-licensed sellers don't have to do as we are licensed by the state of Florida to sell mobile homes on leased land. Some of the items we discuss today may not be needed if you work with a non-licensed person when purchasing a mobile home on leased land. The first document we will need is a purchase agreement signed by both the buyer and the seller. Our purchase agreement here at the mobile home dealer is a very basic five page document that goes over the price of the home, where the home is located, and the actual uh, uh, address of the property. The next document we have the buyer sign is a seller disclosure sheet. This is an important one that the seller needs to read thoroughly and fully understand what they are buying. The seller disclosure sheet is filled out and signed off on by the seller at the time we take the listing. Here the seller marks all the issues that, to the best of their knowledge, are wrong with the home. The seller disclosure sheet is quite detailed as we go through all types of questions such as, is the roof in good shape, how are the floors, does the air conditioning system work, and so on. The reason why this is an important document for the buyer to fully understand is that this form discloses what is wrong with the home so from the buyer's, from the seller's point of view, excuse me. This is, if you will, a playbook of the home that you are buying. The next document is a power of attorney form. These forms allow us, the mobile home dealer, to be able to sign on both the buyer and the seller's part to transfer the title out of the seller's name and into the name of the new buyer at the Department of Motor Vehicles. If this form is not signed off on, then we will have to get everybody together, the buyer, the seller, and us all at the DMV to get everything signed off on. The majority of the homes that we sell are to buyers and sellers out of the state. So if we do not have this form on file, then this will create a very long, arduous, really just a headache of a process. Lastly, we have the title paperwork itself. Now, due to us having a power of attorney form on file for both the buyers and the sellers, the seller will not have to sign the title as we will sign for them and the buyers at the DMV by using the power of attorney form. Additional forms that may be needed as is if the home is in a trust, if the home is acquired through probate, or if there is a will involved. Here we'll need to get all of those documents associated to the transfer of the home in order to get the home transferred out of the sellers and into the buyer's name. Not having all of these forms readily available and ready to be filled out will cause unnecessary delays and additional headaches for everybody involved. When completing the sale of a mobile home on leased land, we take care of all the forms and make sure that the sales process is as clear and smooth as possible for all our clients, both the buyers and the sellers. This is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer, and we help mobile home buyers and sellers get to a better place in life.